Yo, quick ad before we start the show, man. Wonderful sponsor, wonderful person, wonderful company. They doing their thing. Yo, this is for Hudson County only. Hudson County, New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? This is just for the, uh, for the, let's go with Union City, Jersey City, uh, North Bergen, West New York, Guttenberg, Weehawken, right? That's the area. That's the area for now that uh, Mario Munchies, uh, your personal munch is actually holding down right now. You know, they will be expanding in the future, but right now this is where they're working and they're killing it. They have Ringside, um, which which delivers a bunch of, a host of fucking delicious food. Um, they also have the buckets. You could get yourself a, a delicious drink made, you know, that is next next level. You know what I'm saying? You get a good amount for the price and it's delivered to your crib. Are you stupid? You're getting Long Island iced teas at the crib? Fire buckets? Are oh, you bugging out of you not doing it? So we got that. We got he he's holding down um um for for uh, Sabo Latino. He's holding it down for um White Manor. Plus everything else that's popping in Hudson County, you can order from him and he will pick it up. Order it and he will pick that shit up. You feel me? So you guys are Gucci. You get one price. You're not paying that fucking, that, the, those other people. I ain't even going to mention their name. You ain't paying that price because those people are charging you more for, per, for the meal that you're paying for, and they're charging you on top of that delivery fee. And you got a tip? Oh, come on, man. You losing there. Mario Munchies, he don't do that. Munchies, he fucking got you, man. One flat fee. He has one flat fee for the restaurant, one flat fee for you, man. He's taking care of everybody. This dude's a beast. What a great company. And, and, and been doing this before the companies that are doing it right now. But corporate people always steal shit from the little man. So what I'm trying to say, guys, support local. Hudson County, all my Hudson County niggas, support local, man. You want some White Castle in the middle of the night? Holla. You want uh, some Dutchies and, and, and some, some other shit later on today? He got you. No problem, man. Munchies, yourpersonalmunch.com, and you can call them at 201-838. Five five three five, man. You cannot win. All right, one more time. Mario Munchies, Munchies, uh, yourpersonalmunch.com, yourpersonalmunch.com, and um, his phone number is 201-838-5535. Hit him up, man. He got you. Yo, this Whiskey No Chips, the podcast, the illest podcast on the fucking planet. Yes, sir. It's me, Hector. And today I got a very special guest, my nigga. I mean, yo, my nigga, y'all see, y'all hear this nigga in the morning every day on High 97. <laughs> it's Ebro in the morning. High yeah. 97 in the building, yes, nigga. Sir. Let's get it. Ebro in the morning. What's up? What's up? Yeah, man. Hell that's yeah. what's up. I'm, I don't think you're Ebro in the morning from, from <laughs> High 97, are you? Man, who knows, man? <laughs> <laughs> no cap. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Just fucking with you. But yeah, man, Ebro, man, break it down. Let these niggas know uh, what crew you rap. Let the nigga know what you do, man. Most Talk definitely. I rock. Uh, my crew is our, my crew is AEL. I represent 1WK. That's my boy AI's crew. Re represent <laughs> my nigga over there. Uh, I just fuck with them SFG niggas. That's all my niggas over there. Shout out um, Cats, Jazz. Cats, shout yes. out Drac. All them niggas. Word. Shout out Cans. <laughs> I got bad shout outs, but we gonna stick to the crews, dog. Okay. <laughs> the crews I'm in. I'm in HK, Hazardous Kings, Elizabeth crew, you already know. Uh, what's the other shit? SFG, most definitely that's a skateboard crew. I fuck with the skateboard and no cut. Oh, you're a skateboarder also? Mm -hmm. Oh, Yo, that's heavy. We all, man, everybody in this. Oh, yeah, nigga, skate. skateboard. Hell I yeah. fucking love it. That is Facts, ill. Man. Hell yeah. Yeah, man, you see the rollerblades, man. Be respectful. I know you be, be respectful. Wax, you be waxing the shit out of those skate parks, boy. That's nigga, the... we trying to hit everything yeah, fast. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas be coming to the park with the big ass brick and wax going crazy on Straight that from shit. the church. No cap, bro. <laughs> that good wax. Yo. Hell that's yeah. hilarious, but that's dope that you skateboard. But go ahead, continue, mm -hmm. continue on. I mean, you know, if you got any more crews or nope, anybody. No more crews. No, no more, more crews, crews at the how, moment. How, how about how about, uh, how about Mom Dukes, man? Shout out to Mom Dukes. Mom you know? Dukes is fine. The family is fine, man. We that's are, beautiful. Everybody's doing good in life. No struggling. Nothing like that. I love to hear shit like that, man. Beautiful shit, right? Yeah, fuck yeah, man. You sound like you, you know what? You seem and, and feel 
like a good energy, good vibe type of cat, bro. That's why I try to represent. Honestly, I try to build with the real. No cap. Stay away from the fake. Try to stay as real to myself as I can into a crown. As you should, G. Facts. Yeah, man. Fuck yeah, man. Now, let's talk about this graph shit, man. Let's talk about your graph shit. Let's talk about how you started. What 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 made you get in this fucking thing, man? Because you got a, a unique style also. Word. I tried, bro. Hella bookwork. Mad book. I love drawing, Listen man. to that, fellas. Bookwork. This nigga said bookwork. People don't do bookwork. Yo, drawing is important. This nigga think that the wall's the bookwork, man. <laughs> Nah, man, get to for work real. in the house sometimes, bro. Look Hell ahead, yeah, sir. but when I first, I started, I've been bombing for like three years now. I got put on to bombing when I was in a program when I was younger. My boy Dome, shout out Dome. You see him all over North uh-huh, and shit. Uh-huh. He's the one who put me on to graffiti. So when I linked up with him in there, I would just see him every day practicing his hand style going on and on with his shit. I just took an interest from there. Had a little booty one-liner. Oh, 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 hold up a second. What you got, sir? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, do, do what you got to do. Yeah, yeah, just make sure you can get back in, nigga. Word up. <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah uh, you saw Dome Hen and what would you say? He had a one liner? Yeah, he had a nice one line. I can't even do that shit, but I said this one liner is nice difficult. One-liner. Hell yeah, bro. I practice. I'll just practice another night for a while. That's it. It get technical. Yeah, you gotta be, <laughs> you gotta be a mathematician. For real. My hand, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my handwriting was already asked before grass, so shit. Imagine me now, but I try to. Yeah, you do try, man. I seen you step it up a little something, something, man, here and there. Yeah, but um, what's the name? What got me into graffiti outside of Dome? YouTube, honestly, bro. One day I was just chilling in the crib. And I was just bored. I just looked up graffiti one day and it just sucked me in, bro. I was watching YouTube videos. I'll pause <laughs> on that. <laughs> um, um, but that shit, this shit just took over my mind, bro. And uh, shit, I would just go bombing every night. I ain't have no car. I would just walk. Math, footwork. Still mad footwork every day walking these hoods. I ain't driving up the spots. I'm just looking for everything on foot. No cap. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Do you understand the rules of the game? Yes. And I fucking, I'm, I'm shit, I try to take care of them rules. I ain't trying to do nobody's drama. No cap. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I, for, <laughs> for some real. reason, I, I haven't seen any drama with you. I think you had maybe one situation at one point. Mm-hmm. But besides that, I haven't heard much about like, oh, fuck you, bro. That nigga, that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's, he's he's fucking spot jacking or some some shit like that. I haven't really heard much about that. I'm strategic with my spots. I'm real strategic. Like I don't know. I don't like side busting. But if we're gonna talk about beef, because I know niggas want to hear about the beef. <laughs> I mean, if you have any, I I don't I don't I, I don't know. You could you could definitely break it down, man. And 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 apparently you know that niggas want to hear about it. So talk about it, G. Yeah. Get so in there. one of my first crews. I ain't gonna bring up the crew because they don't. No need if you don't want to. Yeah, facts. But fucking um, I was in the crew. Decided to leave the crew for personal um, reasons and shit. Mm-hmm. People ain't like that. I left the crew. And um, what's the name? So a couple months, maybe days went by. I can't remember. It was a while ago. But fucking, I go on the gram. I see this man talking mad shit on the gram, basically exposing where I live, all that bullshit. I'm like, oh, that's not cool, man. You don't tell people where. <laughs> no, no, you don't do that at all. That's it. But anyway, fucking, I hit him up. As I said, I fucking hit him up. I was like, bro. What's up? What's good with the fade? Because there ain't no talking after That's that. it. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no talking yeah, after talking. this, bro. Nigga, you telling me where my mama's at? <laughs> exactly. Hey, yo, it can't the... go down like that. Nah, moms ain't got nothing to do with none of this for shit. For real, for real. But fucking, what's the name? <laughs> so with the fade, the fade, we used to be talking. I was yelling shit. I'm like, all right, bet. Meet me here. I'm hitting up niggas. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going alone. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking wet. I, I seen him. He was like, all right, let's fight outside. He came with a group of niggas. I was like, bro. Oh, <laughs> I was like, let's get it out. Let's get it banging out here. He was like, nah, because he was talking about, I'm going to call the cops. I don't know what he was talking about. So I was like, fuck it. Let's get it banging in the bathroom. I'm going to probably get fucked up. It's hella niggas. Hella yo, niggas. nigga, you're a G though because you was just like, <laughs> I mean, I'd have been like, yo, you know what, yo? I don't think this is even, son. Nah, I should have been smarter. But anyway, we go, go into the bathroom, <laughs> get it banging, tussling, all that shit. Make them fall to the ground. I'm like, bro, get up. We in the bathroom. Get the fuck up. We not doing this wrestling shit. <laughs> I'm not coming down there. This shit <laughs> exactly. Is 30, nigga. Get it back to getting it, banging it, all that shit. Yeah, yeah. And then out of the corner of my eye, I get hit. Of course. Get of another course. hit. Uh, boom, boom. It's all over from there. I get jumped, all that shit, bro. But a bad decision, sir. That shit. Yeah, that was definitely a bad decision. But I let pride get in the way and the ego that I. But, you, to- but, but you put beats on him. Yes, most definitely. All right, so, most so definitely. at least he knows. He knows. He shit. knows. He knows shit. No cap. But fucking. Yes, that's all. But yeah, man, what I did from that situation, I took it and learned. No cap. 
And never the, walk into a room full of lions. And Moses definitely. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how tough you think you yeah, is, you yeah. ain't tough enough to beat five <laughs> niggas. <laughs> Hell no, nigga. Like, uh, I mean, no. you know, I think that you probably had like tunnel vision. Like, I, I, I'm just going to fuck. Like, you probably knew that you could fuck this nigga up. Exactly. So you know, I'm just here to fuck this nigga exactly. up. They're going to yeah. let me do it. Nah, they were gonna. They, they was like, "Oh, I can't let my, I can't get, I can't let Nico get taken out <laughs> for real, bro. Don't count. I By feel this like polite ass nigga for real. <laughs> he walked in there polite, ready to bang out. <laughs> Yo, bro, that's the, that's the way I was raised, bro. That's the you way I was raised. Geez, no. Don't count, bro. I respect bro. the gangster, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> after that. Um, did he stop cr- crossing you out or whatever? Everything Shit was- died out after that. Nobody yeah. hit anybody up after nah, that. No, but it was, it. I, I, I would, res- me, I would respect you after that. I'd be like, yo, this nigga really came in with it. That's dog. what I, if I saw it from out of respect, I'd be like, that nigga dumb, but shit, he got heart. No cap. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> no I'm cap. Like, no, what'd you think was going to happen? We shit. took, you, you know, we gave you a chance to go, nigga. Yeah, bro. <laughs> They're like, yo, but all right, man, you did that. Mm-hmm. Lesson learned. So fucking, I just took my graph <laughs> career from there, but from that point on in my graph career, I learned you don't want to meet everybody in graph you don't want to fucking you know nigga you don't know who you meeting first of all these nigga you you don't know this nigga from a sticker stand oh, i don't know what fuck niggas be saying but fucking <laughs> but yeah i just with the niggas i chill with now it's specific you gotta like yeah i gotta see something i gotta see the real in you basically i gotta see the real in you can't be on no full shit you can't you gotta be able to bomb you gotta have that hunger yeah because i know i got that fucking hunger i love doing this shit man it's it Oof. you be out here in the morning Bro, in the morning, the in the night, morning. in the midday, it don't matter, bro. I fucking love doing this shit, man. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. But I forgot what I was talking about. That's what's up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. We- uh shit, nigga. I don't even know where where where, where, where you was going because I was just thinking about something. Else. I was just thinking about you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, you can't jump right now. I like in the Fresh Prince of Bel Air that they was pushing them around and shit. In the circle, I was, but I know that wasn't the case for you. Uh, uh, no. and stuff, but you made it, man. You made it. I definitely it. did. I definitely did. All I did was progress from that moment on in time. No cap. Yeah, man. Did you ever uh, decide to catch anybody on the low, by, by quietly? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, for that that was in there. You like, yo, I remember this nigga. I, I caught this nigga at McDonald's with his little shorty. He thought he thought he was about to get a milkshake. If it's a situation like that where I do <laughs> from that situation, I never saw him again, honestly. Nah, right, but cool. if I did see him again, niggas, I just want my respectable fade. That's it. No cap. I ain't gonna run down on you or nothing like that. I'm a respectable man. We can get a respectable fade, even though you wasn't respectable to begin with. But fuck it, I don't give a fuck. Wow, you you know what, man? He, hey, man, he was a stand up guy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real niggas is real niggas. There's real niggas in the graph game, bro. I try, bro. Yeah, I try. You're, you're a real stand up man, and I, I I I can see that, man, and I respect really? that, man. So you you got uh you know you said earlier that you know you got you got that shit from your pops and shit, right? That's what you said? One for my pops. I forgot. No, the, the respect. Like oh, he, most he, definitely. Most definitely. My parents both definitely. Both together? Mm-hmm, yeah. Not no more, but they divorced when I'm younger, but they always, they was always good parents. Yeah, but they both, they both in your life and they but fuck yes, with they you. Yeah, they were both in my life. Most definitely. That's all that matters, man. Uh, yeah. You've been taught, you've been fucked with, like, you know what I'm saying? Paul's. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, that's what's up, man. Not, not a lot of people don't have, you know, both parents, you know, in their life fucking with them and, and, and taking care of them and teaching them and shit, the, the, the game and the ways, you know? But you bro. had that. Yeah, bro. I appreciate it. I love it so much. I love my parents so much, man. So why the cop. streets, man? Why'd you take the why'd you take the streets, man? The streets, man. The streets chose nah. me. <laughs> <laughs> the like, streets chose you? No cap, bro. But my uh growing up, I had a very hip hop influence. You know, my dad, he grew up listening to fucking uh Tribe Called Quest, Nas, all the regulars type shit. Fucking um got Black Moon, bro. Like oh. So the hip hop was in me from a young age, cause you know all this graph shit got to do with hip hop regardless. But from Word. a young age, that shit I just heard Thanks. that shit and just naturally progressed into doing it. Honestly, and so I should have been doing it when I was younger. Honestly, but I never had that big homie to give a put me a put a can in my hands. So. But I started out a little later. But I'm doing my best I can now. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, you did start late, uh, apparently, because you you said you've been doing this three three years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And shit, what really? Uh, I mean, you know, I know Dome, you know, put you on and shit. Mm-hmm. You, I guess what you was you was locked up with him or something like that. And, and yeah, you know, I guess you know from from being in there, you know, there's not a lot of things to do. I guess <laughs> so. So you saw that, and you're like, you know what? Let me try this shit out. Exactly. And what was your first tag? My first tag was EBR. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's pretty much pretty close to E, bro. Literally, yeah. I had uh, one of my ex homies give me the O. Res- not respecting him, but fucking yeah. So I, <laughs> I wrote EBR for probably like a week, and then I like met 
um this nigga through um um Instagram and shit, and he gave me the oh, and I just rocked off from there and the books, man. Let me tell you about them books, though. <laughs> Talk about them books, nigga. I, I done been through them. Oh, God, bro. I not. I don't got the best style out there. I know my style going to be up there when I get a little, you know, you feel me? But them books is most definitely the most important thing you could do in this shit other than bombing. Bombing? Yeah. You could be the to- most... I can give respect to them toy niggas that get up, though. Because them toy niggas that get up, y'all niggas be up out the ass, bro. But say, once y'all get that style behind y'all back, that's when the respect come in. No cop. Because you can be up, but that respect come later. Yeah, yeah, because you you could be up in a, you know, and people are not going to respect your spot regardless. If a nigga comes up, if a, a, a top dog comes up, you know, <laughs> they're just going to take your whole shit. You exactly, know what exactly. It is what it is. You, you will see Harmay Har- Har- and, and, and all them niggas just be like, a big production right over. See you. What are you going to no, do? You going to come back to that spot, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> that shit get abolished real quick. You don't want to see no toy eight, shit out here. No cap, bro. Re- re- uh, most re- much respect to Harm. Yeah. No cap. No <laughs> my MHS nigga. Who yeah. influenced you besides, uh, you know, anybody? Emo. Maybe. Emo was a heavy influence growing up. No cap. Just seeing his style. I don't know. Like his early. So fucking His dope. early 2000s style. That's my favorite, bro. That's my homie. So I always dope. tell him, bro. His early 2000s, late eight, late 90s, whatever, bro. I just love. Yes. Style. Yes, man. Crazy, yeah, man. He's always been dope. Man. For real, bro. He gave me some of my first straight letters on paper. No cap. And I worked and built off them into what I am now with my style and shit, man. Most That's respect, deal. homie. Hell yeah, bro. You know, Miss Graf's niggas skate, bro. I can only imagine how many roller skater niggas skate, bro. Rollerblader, sir. Be respectful. Rollerbladers. What'd you call them? To the sport, What'd you call them? <laughs> Rollerbladers. Rollerbladers. No, no, Rollerbladers. Bla- bladers. Bla- bla- oh, y'all call it, y'all, respectively. Blader gang. Blader bla- gang. Bla- gang. Represent Blader, uh, yeah, yeah. respect the Blader <laughs> gang. No cap, bro. Nah, you know what, though? The, the, the blading uh, game has, uh, I'm just kidding about Rich. Be respectful. But uh, uh, the, the Blader game has really gone down. It's not, there's not a lot of people that skate, bro. I noticed that. I noticed you that. You go to skate park you don't see a lot of niggas and you know what yo frankly you don't see a lot of niggas skating shit street anymore man yo there's spots that i'm looking around here and i'm like yo ain't nobody skating this like yo when i was younger there's some rails down here yo that when i was younger i mm. would have been murdering them since if they was there and they, i would have been just living on there because they're low i would have just been doing switches all day just fucking uh, 10 fucking tricks on, on that one rail a lot of a park, fucking fun time sounds like a whole lot of park rats <laughs> Everybody on their park shit. Nobody wants to street, uh, skate street no Nobody more. Nobody skate street from. no more. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to get kicked out, but whatever, man. <laughs> How good are you? With skateboarding? skateboarding? Yeah. I'm going to talk my shit. I do this. <laughs> you kick I got, flip? Yeah, I can kick flip. I can hill flip. I can hit handrails. Um, handrails, nigga? Yes, yes, oh, I like do that. Mm-hmm. I I'm gonna to have do... to follow your personal page, man. I'm, gonna, I'll, I'll I'll... definitely give you that purpose. Yeah, I want to follow your personal because I'm pretty sure you're skating on there, right? Of course, right? Uh, but, yo, no. you know what sucks about skating? When you put it out there to the people, they think that's all you are as a skater. So I on, I keep my skating on the low. I just do it on the low type shit. Oh, but, okay, okay. Hey, mm-hmm. man, cool, cool. I'm so, about to start uh, going back to the skate park, man. Just, yo, just yo, for exercise good. purposes. I'm 38 years old. I can't be over here doing misty flips mm-hmm. over yeah. shit and landing on my shit. I feel that. You feel me? I got kids to feed. So, uh, <laughs> But I definitely want to go around the park, pump around. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, slide on the coping, hit some hit some little shit. I'll be you know fly as fuck, bro. That's it. But I ain't going over there to fucking top nobody pause or try to be fucking uh, the best skater in the park. Just That'd be me. That'd be my problem at this game. I always be try to be the best nigga there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I always be trying to be the best nigga there. You be skating. Everybody, you know what? When, when we used to skate, you know, me and the niggas I used to chill with, because it'd be, you know, it's it's it was a white boy sport at the time or whatever. Mm-hmm. We all hood niggas going to, to like these skate parks in Hackettstown and to, you know, these white places. And we hood as hell just being hood niggas mm-hmm. and hanging out and shit. But we would have a mini competition against everybody to make sure that we was the best niggas in that park hell state. Oh, yeah. Like a fucking B-boy battle. Was yeah, we made was sure, like- yo, everybody <laughs> came through correct. Hell everybody yeah. came through dressed fresh. Mm-hmm, you know what I'm saying? Said. We was like, yo, you know, let these niggas be dirty scragglers, man. We we good. We looking Facts. fresh and we Come skating. Come and right. And skating fly. I you know, respect that. Kind of shit. That'd be my problem skating in my nice clothes, bro. I'd be fucking up, bro. You know, I skated in my 14s. I skated my Makes eights. no sense, sir. Don't do that. <laughs> I know, bro. <laughs> that is not a good idea, especially no with skateboarding. As soon as you do one one ollie, see ya. It's <laughs> over. The, 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 those sneakers is done. Then the holes start popping up on the side, man. The classic skate hole, man. That shit is annoying, bro. But, yeah. Did they fix that? Is there is there a specific nope. shoe for that? Nope. 
your shoes is gonna be fucked or gone. They do that on purpose to sell more shoes because they should have been had a shoe by now that makes no fucking hole or some shit. Oh. Or just extend it, maybe like an extra leather pad on it. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe that's the Ebro edition, man. Ah, for real, bro. You I gotta get saying? on that. No and, then, pad. and then the pad, you know, what I'm saying uh, you can make your check out to uh, Hector Moquette uh, when you start this. I'll send some love. The pad, I, yeah, yeah, I, need, love. I need at least 5% of the company. The pad, you could like, uh, uh, interchange it. It's like a leather pad. So as you fucking oh, you kick flip it, it, yeah, you that would keep be your fire. picks a little longer. So, mm. you know what I'm saying? You buy the pads and shit. So, hey, man, Nigga, anybody takes that shit. You better hop on it. You better hop on it. You don't Nigga, want to buy ideas. Hey, man, I'm just, I don't, I, I, listen, you know what, though? When I'm out here, I give ideas and I just, I just hope mm. somebody, somebody does it and says, hey, here's a check, heck. You do the work. I gave you the idea. And you you make the millions and just give me a couple hundred stacks, man. I'll be good. That's valid, right? I wouldn't there. be even mad about it. Just a hundred stacks, a couple hundred stacks a year coming from because I know you're gonna make millions. You'll be good. For real. I got other things. Imagine I give a jump to everybody and then I'm getting a couple hundred stacks from everybody. <laughs> Ten people, my nigga, yeah. The investment was worth it. It was worth it, bro. The investment was worth it at that point. At the end of the day, my nigga, I don't know. Let's see what happens, bro. What's your ambition, though? What do you do, man? What's what, Besides, uh, you know, graph, besides skate, what do you do? What do you like to do without getting too personal or getting you into any any, any issues or anything? God damn, I love to do graph and skate, first of all. I got to think. <laughs> Because honestly, me personally, I love to chill in the crib. If I'm not going to work, if I'm not working, I'm not doing graffiti. If I'm not skateboarding, I just like to be home, minding my business, staying out of trouble. No you got doubt. a shorty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. She know the vibes, though. No cap. <laughs> no cap. It's all love. It's all love, baby girl. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what? People have relationships. People fight. People Facts. together. Facts, man. People break up. People get together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That breakup be bad, but make the graffiti better. <laughs> For real. It's yeah. like, yo, she's going to talk to me. <laughs> like that. Yeah, you can match it. You got it. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> it's shit. I've been that's... looking at you, bro. This shit like, damn. Yeah, this nigga, that's a, that's a fucking uh, ooh-wop. The ooh-wop. <laughs> This nigga done oh, you got wrong, so, oh, Yes, right, I do okay. right there, man. From my last guest, he actually made that, brought it in. For real? Yeah. That's yeah, that shit is fire, man. I forgot who was making Yeah, clever, clever lads, yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're fucking talented people, man. They're very, very talented. They were on the show. Cool ass fucking people, no, man. Answers, Respect to them. Got some fire nigga, that nigga answers a fucking monster in the game, bro. You know what I'm saying? Who, who else is the monster again? You said emo. Um, What's emo. Fuck Yo, shout out to fucking C Mac, bro. That nigga, bro, C Mac, yeah. Cody, all them niggas, bro. I'm shouting out the new gen, bro. Them niggas is up, bro. They I'm working. trying to catch up to them niggas. No They're working. Cap. They putting in that work, bro. No cap. Most respect to them. Um, shout out to my nigga Jeff for the most. That's Cuddy God right there. You better find you Work a Cuddy it. spot anywhere. No cap. Fucking who else, bro? Shout out my nigga Cam. That's a real nigga right there. Shit. Oh my gosh. Shout out my nigga Gus, bro. My man Gus HK from the Wick. He writes G U. Bro, that nigga, that's my brother right there. Me and him, bro. Them New York nights in the summer. Bro, I'm gonna tell you some shit right now. So me and Gus, bro, we would go out in the summer, fucking take the train to New York and just walk that shit all night. Painting shit all night in New York, bro. Just some crazy ass nights. During the fucking uh deep coronavirus shit type shit. Oh, like that? So mm-hmm. y'all niggas was just out just mm-hmm. lacing shit up. What's the Literally. weirdest shit y'all saw at that time? Because you know y'all in New York, there's, there's, the, the streets is not Bro. packed. You know there's some crazy ass niggas doing some crazy shit out oh, there. Nigga. Bums fucking, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna say no names, but I took my other mans out there, bro. We was fucking, we was drunk as fuck. I went to go paint. He like kind of fell asleep at uh, LES skate park type shit. Yeah. So I'm done painting this shit. I go back to check up on him because I'm like, I ain't come out here for nothing. I'm going to paint some shit. I go on the check up on him. And fucking this nigga, he, we all came with skateboards. I look at him I'm like, bro, where your skateboard at, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this this nigga, New York, nigga, you can't sleep. You can't fucking sleep, bro. This nigga, <laughs> bro, they, they robbed his shit, bro. That skateboard gone. Rest in peace. Whoever got that nigga, shit, that need that to shit give it back. Gone. That nigga been skated that. He <laughs> took it apart. His boy got the board. His boy got the other wheels. <laughs> 
You no, know what I mean? Cap, Some nigga bro. need trucks. He got them. No cap, bro. That shit <laughs> gone, bro. He left. They left his phone though. His phone was right next to him. Type shit. At like. least they were courteous. They were like, "Yo, I just need the board, my G. I gotta get home." Word, bro. So there was a nigga that was in a rush. He was on his way to get some pussy. He was walking. He's like, "Yo, I ain't gonna get there fast enough." That's some shit. I'll do shit. Like, <laughs> that nigga just went. That nigga just went. <laughs> see your Bart Simpson style. I see it. It's all good. For real, bro. That yeah, shit was man. funny as hell, though. <laughs> yeah. Yo, New York, honestly, the probably the most hottest place I ever, the hottest place I ever painted at, bro. I'm from Jersey. Like, I'm born and raised in Jersey. Painting in, North, in New York, bro, that shit's so hot. It'd be a cop every block. A cop every single block. Niggas are saying it was easy during coronavirus, but that shit, to me, from my perspective, that shit was not fucking easy. But I got my shit done. It had my anxiety. Oh. <laughs> Yo, damn, I love hitting my hot spots, but damn, nigga, y'all don't know how y'all niggas be doing it out there. Shout out to B.O. Shout out to B.O. I fuck with B.O., bro. Yo, That's the... another, another nigga uh, uh, that came on the show. Hell cool yeah, I was excited when you had that interview on here. I was like, word. That's cool a... ass nigga. Hell Very yeah. cool cat, man. He's out here fucking still smashing shit in the streets. Facts. I'm supposed to link him. No cut. Yeah, man. You should, man. If you're trying to get out there, that dude gets up, man. And, and he, he's a really big dude. Really big dude, like what, I'm tall talking tall dude? man. Mm. And I don't even know so how he's how getting up. Them, uh, my spots. dude, yeah, he's not. A, he's not even a normal human being. I believe it, bro. <laughs> it's shit. That's what's up, though, man. Keep killing that shit, bro. Oh yeah, fuck that. Uh, yeah, hell yeah, bro. That's yeah, man. Fine. Yo, let me know. Any, any? Do you have any? Uh, any situations you've been in? Um, you know, besides, you know, I, I mean, you told us the situation that you, you know, you got into a, uh, a fight you shouldn't have uh, accepted at the time. And shit, but besides that, any other fucking weird ass shit? Any other fun shit? Any benefits? Any benefits from Graph? Yeah, what are the benefits for you, shit. sir? Ben- my benefit, the things I benefit from Graph is good. Some of the best people you'll probably meet when you meet the right ones, honestly, bro. You'll meet some of the realest niggas that'll do mm-hmm. shit for you that nobody would ever do for you, bro. Like, shout out my nigga A's. M- um, M- oh my God, I'm high. So MHS. <laughs> So all my niggas age MHS, bro. That nigga, he's a real one right there. And but yeah, this graph shit it taught me fucking respect. You gotta respect shit in the street. And I just took that from outside of graph into real life. You gotta show respect to people. And just as much as you saw um that burner that's been rocking on the wrong twenty all twenty years, respect, you know. Shit, what else I learned from that shit? I learned I don't fuck with nobody. <laughs> Cause bro, <laughs> yo, niggas, I, I try to stay away from graph niggas, little cop these days, bro. I fuck with a lot of graph niggas, but shit, I ain't trying to make Nah. I want to bomb with you. <laughs> <laughs> Do not DM him. He does not want to bomb with you. Okay. Keep the circle tight, bro. If I'm going to give you any good advice, keep the graph circle tight, bro, because they don't nothing outside of that. It just leads to politics. Yeah, I see that, yo. Like, <clears throat> you know, now that I've talked to people and then I be having people in my DM hitting me up and telling me stories or telling me the shit that's happening to them mm-hmm. and shit. Like, I know things that's happening to people that other people don't know, but of course, I'm not going to, I don't spread it. I don't talk about it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, bro, I don't know what people, what satisfaction you get out of politicking. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't want, I don't want nothing to do with none of it. None of it. You feel me? Like, no, I, you told me, but guess what? This is where it stayed. Exactly. I ain't got time to be fucking talking to nobody else about it. I have my own life. I have exactly. other things going on, G. Exactly. Like, really do. I really do. I do not care. No and cap. if you told me, cool. If you didn't, same. I'm, I'm not really looking for, for information. Exactly. You know, unless we're on the show, you could talk on the show, whatever you want. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, um, I do see how there's a lot of shady shit, a lot of shady characters, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of niggas. But, <laughs> It's just the world, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. people, like, we live in a world, like, niggas be tripping, man. We out here, and there's th- situations that are happening every day. You know what I mean? Like, uh, um, you know, niggas is getting robbed. Some mm-hmm. niggas getting used for his car right now to, to be dropped off and picked up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas doing this. So, uh, that it's or everything out here. You know crazy, and that's man. the graph world. It's the same thing, my nigga. You meeting niggas that live, that live in the world. So Literally. guess what? You're going to meet different characters. You're definitely right about Choose that. Choose wisely. For real. That was a good point. No cap. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Shit, man, you got some fire ass names in here. Cop. Yeah, man. There's people that came through, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you yeah. know, I had fucking, you know, I had the homie Mister come through with, with the homie Jar. Word? Mister, yeah, but Mister was like, I, 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 I'm, I'm not, you know, trying to be talking shit. Is that Kid PK? Is that the real Kid? Nah, 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 nah. I was about to say, <laughs> where's the video? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. If it was, if them niggas was here, that would have been crazy. Um, it was uh, Lil Mike. You know, Lil Mike with the truck. I think I saw that podcast. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he came on. We about to do some, some other shit with that nigga right quick. This shit. Um, 
He, yeah, I mean, shit, that dude's that dude's truck. Did you did you hit a truck? Mm-hmm, I got right in the left passenger seat and like where the back area is. Somebody gonna switch. You know, I gotta redo that shit. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, bro. But yeah, I got it right in the uh, left passenger seat type shit. Oh right, I was uh yeah, I was in the I got in the back on the seat on the bottom. Like I just put the the, the show just WNC. Oh yeah, you know the whiskey no chase. Yo, you got right? a. Oh, your ass throwy, bro. Oh, I'm thanks, not even man. going to cap. I'll be on the gram doing my regular spike, <laughs> but I just see like, damn, that shit mad. Like, like if I'm going to explain it, it's just mad. It's pointy. It's got mad. It's, I don't even know, bro. It's fire. I can't even explain it. I got a bunch. Yeah, I, I just, I work. I get bored and I just do different throwies and shit. And bro, I write people's names. You or just whatever. see me at work, bro. All them stickers, I'll be fucking just drawing all day. Paperwork, I bet. Mm, drawing back, back, just drawing hand styles, all that shit. Yeah, drawing yeah, at work yeah. is the best, bro. You ain't got shit to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just, you know what? That's how you get. I guess you get you step up your 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 game. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? You you do. Um, and especially people that that write. Some people that write, they forget that there's other letters besides the letters that they write. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you step up your hand style and you step up your whole game. You know what I'm saying? By fucking writing other people's names. Yeah, you write about that. I've been slacking on that. I'm stuck on Ebro right now. But. No, but trust me, I, I used to be the same way. Like, I, mm-hmm. I, like somebody would be like, yo, do uh, do something for me. I'll be like, yo, I'll be real with you, man. All I do is send them. That's all I do. You know what I'm saying? Sorry. And, and shit. And, and, but now I, I get bored. I don't, I mean, I don't do graph. I don't write. I don't be hitting the street. I'm nobody in the graph game. So I just fucking write a bunch of shit, whatever. If a, if a nigga with a weird name like Puta Jabi comes through, I'll be like, yo, let me write Puta Jabi. See, yo. let's put those weird ass Shout letters to together. Puta Jabi. Yo, Puta Jabi. I just made up that name, but I'm pretty sure there's a Puta Jabi walking around. No He's like, cap. yo, they know my name. <laughs> Got you, kid. Yeah, I wonder how you spell that shit, yeah, bro. That shit probably stupid. P- P- P-U-R-J- a B I got you put job, my nigga. For you better than me. I could even put out the second letter. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> it's like nah, I'm but it's buzzing right now. Oh god, it's so bizarre. Mm. Oh god. Smoking Yo, that zaza. Dig, 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 got it. Yo, man, get in there. Get that zaza, man. Oh yeah, this ain't kicking my ass. This nigga, yo, yo, don't be looking at the man. The, yo, 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 nah, 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 this nigga looking like a rapper, man. He came in, he got green dreads. Fire is, hey man, you a fire looking good dude, man. You probably out here getting mad pussy. Most My nigga. Today. Ah! <laughs> you already know. Let's you already get know. it. I ain't mad about none of that, sir. Most I love all that. Baby. Rockstar lifestyle shit. Yeah, man, I ain't mad, man. This nigga came in looking like a, a young ASAP Rocky, B. Word and, up. And shit, I ain't mad at that, man. Y- y'all do this uh, cool cats, man. We try. You know well, what I'm we saying? We don't try. We just us, honestly. You know, if I think about it, man. We just some... Chill ass, mind our business ass, get money ass, rapping ass. I don't rap, but they rap, but we all <laughs> ass niggas. I was about to ask about that shit if you, you know, y- you, you, any of y'all rap. So, you, you know, these niggas rap. Mm-hmm, yeah, all my boys rap. I'll just be in the studio getting cooking. But when there's a freestyle, when we in the crib, we just chilling, bobbing, we, I'll get in the freestyle. Freestyle, that's where it's at for me. You know what? Some people freestyle and they start off that way and they just start becoming... They decide one day, oh, let me get in the booth and make a song. All of a sudden, you know, oh, I know how to put a song together. Bow, I'm killing shit. Facts, yo. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't mad at that. I think that's that's a dope situation, man. I really that hope that, that you you step step in that direction if that's what you desire. I feel that. Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? Now, what are what in life, what do you want to do though? Like, you know, you're a young ass motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, you got plenty of fucking time to to build biz- a business and fuck it up and then mm-hmm. rebuild it and make it happen or not fuck it up and build your billions. You know, no, you know what I mean? You, mm-hmm. know, it, it, you know, we live in America, dog. You know, there's opportunity and people fucking make a lot of uh, complaints about where we at. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and people pay attention to the president and all this shit. I don't give a fuck about the president. Who the fuck that guy is? I don't give a <laughs> fuck. That guy does nothing for me. I'm here to fucking get my money. There's money exactly. out there. I got to find that on my own. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? The president ain't giving you no money, man. Why y'all fucking over here fighting with each other about this nigga? This nigga don't give a fuck about you. He takes a shit in the morning, and guess what he does? He does the same thing you do right after. Puts his pants on one leg at a time. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, you know what I'm saying? That guy has nothing to Shut do with up, my life, bro. man. For you real, know what I'm saying? Bro. But yeah, where, where I'm at is that you like you, you young and shit. Like, do you have any aspirations as to like what you want to do that that that's gonna get you your bread up for my your future for the rest of your life? Because you're young. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Let's get it. My aspirations in life is this. I'm a real simple man. <laughs> I'm a real simple man. I look at how my, my dad lived. My dad lived great. He vacationed and all that. But I just look at how my dad lived and my, my grandfather lives with their wives and shit like that. And they, they just work. I'm just looking for that 
that job that I can work, go to every day and not lose my mind. Honestly, if I get inspired and do want to do some crazy shit, build a business, I don't doubt it. I'm still young. There's still plenty of thinking that's going on in my mind. But for right now, I'm just looking for uh, stability and a bad bitch. <laughs> and yeah. a bad bitch that love me and a well, good paying job that I can survive at. <laughs> I get it. No cap. <clears throat> no, I get it. I, you know what I'm saying? Shit. I, I, um, I got a decent, I, well, I got a good job. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I peep, bro. I'll be looking at it like, damn, bro, he do that shit. Yeah, I got God. a good job. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I <laughs> still feel like, I, personally, I want to get out of there. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, and I, I am going to get out of there. I have other, uh, other plans that I'm, I'm trying to, you know, that I'm working on that are going to happen. It's just that, you know, it takes uh, time. You got to build, you got to get, get money up. You got to put the money together and get shit going. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, having a good job is, is a good job. It's, it's just that it's just over broke. That's what a job is. You're just over broke. You're going to live. If you have a job and that's cool, everybody, there's nothing wrong with having a job. Never nothing wrong. I just feel that, you know, just for my peoples out here, I want y'all to hear, you know, just, you know, see how I see it personally. Not that shit. Just how I see it personally. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I, I've done this just over broke shit for a long, long time. I'm 38 mm-hmm. years old. You know what I'm saying? I'm, and now I'm like, Hey man, I got to get the fuck out of here. Word. Um, Remember, when you have a job, they could always cut your food off, my nigga. Most definitely. You working for somebody. They could be like, the, and it could be not, not even your fault. The company could close down, my G. Mm. The misco might go down, my nigga, and you, you, you're done. Word. But yo, if you have a business, you could finesse things. You can make moves. You could go places with it. You know what I'm saying? You got to predict. You got to fuck. You got control of your shit. Mm-hmm. You paying yourself. You, can't, you ain't going to choke yourself, my nigga. It's impossible. You're not, I mean, not going to choke yourself. You're trying to feed yourself. Exactly. So at the end of the day, you're always going to work hard to excel. You know what I'm saying? How about, put, you know, we go to these jobs and we put all this hard effort, mm-hmm. all this time. We give these people all our time. And then when you retire, you can't even keep the house that you own. Shit. Because you can't it. afford that shit, my nigga. Talk about Offer it. your retirement. You're not going to afford that shit. With your, you know what I'm saying? And not in Jersey. <laughs> You're not going to afford that shit, my nigga. Taxes is like $16,000 a year, going, my nigga, uh, in a nice neighborhood. New townhouses every day. They're taking all the spots out here. Yeah. Taking so, all the so spots. So when you're retired, you're getting, what, $2,200 a month? Are you going to pay you everything now? Your taxes is fucking 1000 and some change a month, nigga. Jeez. You feel me? So that's why I always be like, I always talk, and I be talking to my son and everything. Like, I'm always like, yo, man, and my daughters, I'm going to do the same thing as they get older. You know, yo, you got to have some type of business. You got to have, have something that's yours because they can take everything from you. That's why I'm working on getting the fuck out of, out, out of the post office. I mean, I work there. It's cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not knocking them. It's a great job, nigga. Respectful great job. job. 100%. If you're going to have a job, the post office is motherfucking <laughs> it, <dog. laughs> I'm not even playing with you. Seriously, they, they, they treat you good at the post office. It's just, but but and, and also, you'll never go hungry. You work at the post office. You get your hours, my nigga. All you got to do is show up. Mm-hmm. You show up, you're getting them eight hours. You feel me? I mean, you, as long as you don't leave. But you, they're never going to tell you, yo, hey, Hector, I'm sorry, bro. You know, at five and a half hours, you got to go. I'd be like, ah, 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 y'all niggas is bugging. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't do that. Word. So, so that's mean. one thing about it. But all I'm saying, man, I mean, not to be fucking, you know, talk uh, preaching and shit. It's just what it is. Always looking for wisdom. Look for fucking ways to have your own shit, man. Especially... As young black men, Word. you know what I'm saying? They don't want us to have our own shit. They want us to go to work. That's what that's what these schools teach you, dog. Yeah. You go to school every day and, and, and they teach you to, to get in the workforce, but they're not teaching you how to move your money. They're not teaching you how to, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're starting that now, but they never did that for us. Me, like growing up I, in school, I didn't hear no, they taught me in like first and second grade how to, um, how to what the money was after that they 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 said it's you're on your own buddy mm. no you know what I'm saying and even your parents don't teach you know my my parents well my parents and they're business owners they didn't teach me teach me about money they did they, they you know they I guess they didn't have time but they're teaching me now and that's why I fuck with y'all word up most definitely yeah man you I know just what got saying? my mask from there <laughs> nah man my no parents are shit man I'm I, 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 that was not not even a knock at all it's just that you know what my parents was working. Hell yeah. When I was growing up, they didn't have time to be sitting with me throwing a baseball around. They was fucking <laughs> putting food on the goddamn table. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? I got no complaints on my child. My, my child was awesome. Right. And shit. Talk about your childhood, man. Talking about childhood. You know, I know you childhood. said your, your parents is awesome. But, uh, yeah. Your childhood, what, what did it consist of, bro? Uh, Going back and forth between my mama and daddy house. 
<laughs> and all their personal drama and shit like that, man. But it, they always kept they kept it as far as uh, out of ear, away from me, their arguments and shit like that. So I didn't really grow up with just hearing their arguments, but I knew what was going on. Type shit. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Yeah. But yeah, Yikes. it was cool because oh, I was like, fuck. man, I don't know. I just played this. I used to play football and shit when I was a little kid and shit. Did you start? Yo, honestly, I, I ain't gonna gas my head. I ain't start. But I definitely well, got you, two touchdowns. Were you about to give me a fake story about you, man? Nigga, I was a star, my nigga, all county. Never, never, never. I just had to look for the real answer, bro. But fuck it, what's the name? But yeah, I played um, lineman. I got two touchdowns that year. Hella fumbles. I was fumble king. We was just talking about that shit at the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was fumble king, no cap. Nigga but, had butter in his fingers. Just... No cap. I'll be smacking that shit out of niggas' hands on the regular. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. you made niggas fumble. Yes, yes. Oh, I was, bro, that's yeah. fly ass no shit, cap. Yeah. No cap. I was the oh, shit. All right. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, dog. I'm sorry. I, I, was, I was going on the other way. Like, bloop. Then bro, you was dropping. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so I had no fingers. Know. <laughs> no cap, but now I got the hands I could catch. Oh, that's no what's cap. up, my nigga. I but like yeah. that, man. But we could ball up any dude. day. We could ball up any day. If anybody want to ball, you can put up money on it. We can cash at me. Let me know. We ball up that's over here. That's what's up, man. You ain't catching me doing none of that. Me <laughs> pulling a hammy at 38 years old? No thanks, man. I work yeah. out, try to take care of myself. I, I, I'm going to start riding my uh, my mountain bike a little more once the summertime comes. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to the skate park in my mountain bike. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's oh, going to yeah. be my extent of my... Uh, athleticism where I'm going in, in shit. I definitely ain't trying to be out here fucking crossing niggas over. I, I've seen videos of people my age that don't ball, that didn't ball. That I, I don't ball, so at the end of the day, mm. I, I'm not going to start now. That start balling and crack their whole shit, my nigga. I'm going to stick to the shit that I know. I can skate a little bit. I used to do that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're closer to that. cracking your shit skating than balling up, though. You ain't got to go crazy on the court get a game of 21, 1v1, you know? It's true, it's true. I mean, no, no, don't get it twisted. You know what? <laughs> I, like I said, I don't really ball, but I, <laughs> I, I have a 16-year-old son, right? Where About two years ago, we went to, to, um, to the park over here. I don't, I'm telling you, I, I, before that, I probably didn't pick up a basketball since high school. Some mm. crazy shit. My nigga, I don't know what the gods said. Gods came in to me and said, yo, Hector, I gotcha. I'm gonna make you the good funny stuff. My nigga, I was pinning it. I mean, but the thing is that I've, I've always been a little athletic. I could always grab the rim when I was younger. I, I, I just didn't play sports like that. I would same, my same. Shit. But I could grab the rim. I could get up. I, exactly. I, I was a little athletic. But I was over here laying up over niggas, <laughs> crossing over. I was like, ah, ah, going this way, <laughs> passing the no look. I don't know who yeah. came over. And then my son, my son to this day brings that story. He's like, he's like, Dad, you say you don't play ball, but my nigga, you was out there balling. Exactly. And you I'm never you. gonna. He's you got it in see, you. Uh, yeah, well, I promise definitely. you one thing: he'll never see me ball again. Because mm-hmm. you know what it is, I feel that that good story. It's it's, it's a great good story. Enough. We're it's gonna good. leave it there. <laughs> Keep that. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want it to be the next time I'm around and you know fumble the bag. Yeah, I'll be like <laughs> <laughs> have two left feet. No so, god, it'd yeah. be like that, man. <laughs> no, okay. yeah, I don't even know why, why we got it to that, but yeah, man. Man, we, oh yeah, right. just growing up and shit. You're going oh, yeah, back and facts. forth and, 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 and shit to your parents. You're playing sports. Mm-hmm. Well, I came from remember. I'll be I'll be. Smoking so much weed, man. My memory is crazy. Don't smoke weed at a young age. Cause, Do yo, not. Don't. Your memory is gone, bro. I'll be walking in the room like, why I come in the room? <laughs> <laughs> no cap, bro. Nigga, I've Just been, weed, though. That's it, man. Stay crazy. I've been smoking since I was 15. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. You know. Right. The, but I also stopped for like seven years because I'm also. That was I, a great break. Yeah. <laughs> you got I had to, memory. you know, because I've been a truck driver. <laughs> Mm. And even as a truck job, I used to smoke too a little bit on mm-hmm. and off. But then there was a seven year stint that I did. But I'll be honest, man, I really wasn't happy around those times. You know, that's weird, man. You know what I'm saying? I, and I don't think nothing. I wasn't happy. I was happy. You know, I'm not a depressed person. I'm a stupid chill dude. I don't I don't even like to feel sad. Like I mean, like sad is, is a foreign feeling to me. I don't feel mel- melancholy. I'll be trying melancholy. not to feel sad, man. I'll be sad, man. But I don't, I don't, I'm the type to like, I'll be because girls say, you know, this thing. Oh, this nigga's a fool. Bullshit. Bullshit! Don't be listening to me, me fucking. But you know, being sad, you, know, you just can't let it physically affect you. You just keep that shit on low. You know, deal with your personal. Time. That's what I do. <laughs> how, how, do you, how do you deal with it? You just swing, swing punches in the air by yourself. <laughs> Nah, I just be on the gram, bro. But yeah, people be wilding on the gram with their emotions, bro. You My ever nigga, see these like, hey, on the gram, bro? This Yo, is then. forever. You put it out there, son. Your no son's going to see this. No cap, bro. You better delete that shit now, bro. Mm. I don't seen the best movies on the gram. It's done. 
Once you put it up, it's gone, my nigga. It's, it's done. Somebody yeah. screenshot that. Exactly. It'd be like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sneaky, sneaky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, man. Yeah, man. So, so how, do you, how do you deal with um, being down? Being down. Oh, I'm graffiti. So <laughs> I just go graffiti. I smoke some shit or I fucking call my girl. <laughs> no cap, bro. But graffiti, but graffiti when you're sad, man, that's it. It just takes you out the sadness and puts you focused because you can't be sad when you mess out. That's what's up, man. I don't want to say too much, but you, I don't know shit. But fucking, I'm just, it just puts you in a mind state where, like, get away from the sadness. You got to be on point and watch out for these cops and crackheads. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> no cap, bro. This it's like, fuck the so sadness. I got, cops and, and you walk home with the greatest feeling after that feel with the, with the shell and uh, with the shell. I don't know what y'all be calling it. I don't, third line. I don't know. Let me not disrespect too much, but I call it a cell. Force field, nigga. What? Shit, bro. I respect it, bro, but nah, shout all day. I'm just feeling like, yo, it's powerful, my nigga. Facts, bro. <laughs> Go home with a good feeling that night. Six feels in, dolo. That's the shit I like to do, no cap. Nah, yeah, you you up, man, because I I, I I be out in Newark sometimes and shit, and I be seeing that, that, that the, the, the shit you kill out there. You're known uh, out there, boy. Yo, that buff is crazy. <laughs> yo, that buff, yo, man, that shit said, need- ooh. <laughs> that shit fuck me you're up, like, yo, bro. I just, hey, man, like, oh, yeah, y'all niggas is out. We out here too, nigga. No cap, bro. That shit crazy out there, bro. You know what? If I was one of them, nigga, I'd be, I'd, I'd do that shit with pride. I'd be like, I'd be the nigga, I'd, I'd, do, I'd start an Instagram page. Hey, yo, start an Instagram page for yourself, guy. And as you're fucking taking niggas, I'll... <laughs> you would definitely have my follow. I'll my be nigga, going just, right back just, to that just spot. Just talk your shit as you're doing it, my nigga. I swear to God, you'll have 100,000 followers. They ain't going to be mad at you neither because at the end of the day, you're giving a new canvas to new niggas, man. Most definitely. At the end of the day, and the, the recy- graph game, the that's the graph continues. game, my nigga. Don't be mad. You got the buff. The buff comes. Most definitely. And the buff goes. Simple as that. Everybody knows, you know, and sometimes you beat it, sometimes you don't. Yeah, man. You know? What, I mean, what, what, what spot do you know that, that you've been buffed on that you're like... Fuck, yo, that shit really, really, really hurt me. Like, I put too much work in for that. I got to find this guy. And you took him out. What did you do to that guy, bro? Are you talking about where somebody no, buffed me? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, you uh, can where, talk about where, that. Where, well, we could definitely talk about that. Let's go there. I, I was just thinking about, like, a spot that you hit up, and then the city came and just took it down. And you're oh, like, the city? You're like, damn, mm. man, that shit was rocking. Damn, man. That's a lot of spots to think about, and I no, got a bad that, memory. Let's go to where you were really thinking about already. <laughs> where, like, I got there? you, I got My you. Nigga. Let's go right there, man. Uh not naming names, but I'm going to tell the story and y'all can have your opinion on it. So, me and my mans, we went over some Brazilian shit, some Brazilian hand style shit. And you know, we in Jersey, we do hand styles. Bills go over hand styles in Jersey. So, did you go over a scooter? A scooter? Yeah, I think that's his name or something like that. He's the, some Brazilian shit that he throws on the side, but he be killing shit. Yo, come to the show, nigga. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know who that is, but fuck it. What's his name? Uh, he busts Phil's over they fucking Brazilian hand style shit. And then I just happened to be walking the block again. And then I seen that. So I was like, what the heck? Bust Phil's over that shit. And then that's how it went. But I just left. I just told that story to fucking get your opinion on how do you feel about Phil's over Brazilian hand styles in Jersey? Put that shit over that motherfucker, man. It's a hand style. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. On top of that, we really don't you, even like it. I don't, I'll be real with you. I don't really like that shit. You feel I think me? that shit is, yo, the way they do it, though, they're talented. What, the, what they do I and how they it. climb the side of the building, I don't respect that shit them, is but I respect it. I respect it the much. Spots respect. They but hit, to be honest, they be hitting the same yeah. as a building. They be on the side they of the building. Climbing, they be bro, fucking that shit is stupid. Nigga, bro. They, they have rock climbing gear, my nigga, on the side of the building. They really do. South and North Face, send me that. Yo, <laughs> you but, feel me? But, but for sure, like you know, what I'm saying it's it, hey man, it's America, buddy. Yeah, no it's cap. Phil's over hand styles, my nigga. For real, if I was in your country, Phil's I wouldn't do that. Like, that's get a first thing, just no stop that shit for me. Just get out on. I don't know. <laughs> but I saw the little bit. Yo, it's good stuff. It's muy gustoso. It's good stuff. Se la vaina. I fucking mixed yo, everything into that. that. Yo, tweet, much, much respect, though. 100% much respect to the Brazilian dudes, but you guys got to chill out. Except for the niggas that went over me. It's definitely pills over hands. Those are hands. I know they're complicated and all that shit. <laughs> and in your country, there's something. But over here, we don't even understand what the fuck this shit says. You feel me? So let's be respectful to the American culture, buddies. You know what I'm saying? That nigga came back with it, though, man. He said, yo, fuck your Phil. Most definitely. I'm coming back with my... 
this is not even my hood. I'm still coming back for that shit. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> we making the trip back for that shit. I don't give a fuck. It's still yeah. Jersey. <laughs> I, I, yo, and yo, respect. Like, I don't really don't want niggas to fuck get, get mad at me for not liking the Brazilian style that much. I, I really like the don't Brazilian like, style. Yeah, I just I, don't like the niggas that went over me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I personally don't, don't, don't fuck with it as much because I don't know what it says and I don't really know what it is. That's probably what... You know what's fucked up? You, I guess I didn't... I, it, I'm fucked up for that because at the end of the day, I'm not liking something I don't understand. That's kind of racist. The more you know. How can I say it? The star's going to come through. Nah, just kidding, man. <laughs> but yo, <laughs> it, it, to be honest, nah, nah. You know what? I'm going to look into the culture. Let me not fucking knock it because I do love the Brazilian culture. I do think the Brazilian yo, they women crazy. are... crazy. The skate scene are, over there is ridiculous. Oh, them niggas get it in over bro. there, bro. They, they pop the way they... do. If you skate, you know the Brazilians got the, bat, the best back tails in the real life world right now. Hey, man. They got <laughs> jujitsu over there. No, God. They be kicking that shit off some Bruce Lee shit. Them stop. niggas will fucking put you in a pretzel. They do jujitsu on purpose over there. They're born doing that shit. That's different. I was always born doing that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, uh, once all this shit opens up, I'm gonna start taking some type of classes because I'm getting older and I definitely try to take care of myself physically, but I want to take care of myself uh, physically also when somebody comes to attack me. Now, I'm a man and I can bang with you, but yo, I want to be able to strategically p- take you apart. Facts. All no you need fact. is like a good six to eight months of a, of a good jujitsu class. There's a certain parts of the body you got to hit. No yeah. No, well, jujitsu is more like, you know, you know what jujitsu is more like, <laughs> oh, know. all right, so jujitsu is... Um, is groundwork. So you get put on the floor. You 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 oh, you're pretty much putting somebody in the floor. No, it's not wrestling. It's mm. it's uh, even the wrestlers are another scary. So it's good to mix wrestling with jujitsu because wrestlers know how to take you down. Wrestlers know how to slam the living shit out of you. Wrestlers are annoying wrestlers, as hell. I want yeah, hands. Them niggas know how to fucking tie <laughs> you up and hands. start punching you with your hands. You have your hands here and they're just punching you till you go to night night time. Oh, y'all Leave some like well, that's some ju- demon ju- 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 jujitsu. They just. Tighten you up, nigga, and they just choke you out and put you to sleep. They'll break your leg. They'll break your arm. They know how to do things like that. But they, they yeah, they, yeah, those people pivot you and will will tighten you up. So that with mixed with a little bit of wrestling, mixed with a little bit of uh, kickboxing, mm. you 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 know, it'll take you about three years for you to be if you dedicate yourself to this stuff. Mm. Three years for you to be just a lot tougher than you are right now and be able to pretty much handle yourself in most situations. That's all shit. valid. I'm going by Joe Rogan's standards. Joe Rogan t- said that. I'm no fucking professional. I never watched I'm the gonna Joe do Rogan po- a podcast. Not yet. Rogan's my cousin, my nigga. Mm. Ah. <laughs> How about but, say since when? Nah, just kidding, man. That nigga, <laughs> nah, Joe Rogan, nah, I fuck with that nigga's, that nigga's podcast. I, he inspired me to do this podcast. Really? Seriously. I got to get in did. tune with him. I never Seriously watched this shit. Did. I be watching Matt Parker. I be watching Joe Budden, and that's pretty. Oh yeah, yes, shit. I don't even use my podcast. What do you consider your shit? It's a podcast. Oh, it's a podcast. Yeah, Yo, yeah. shout out to the Whiskey so Pill Podcast. No podcast. Whiskey, oh. no, whiskey, no chase a podcast, my G. Excuse me, I'm busting, but yeah, I will be watching this shit. That's one of nah, my list. Do. I appreciate it, man. Oh, really? Fuck yeah, man. Anybody that watches my shit, man, you know what, dog? Just don't forget to subscribe, my nigga. Subscribe, like and, the video, like this shit, my nigga. Like, comment you know, and when you comment. feel. And if you when hate you it, put the thumbs down, nigga. Who gives a fuck, nigga? It's participation. <laughs> That you counts. What does the thumbs down do? How I don't even know it? what it does, nigga. But I don't. I mean, I prefer you not to. If you, but if you don't like it, nigga, let, at least let it be known. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That to, I think it does something. Shit, it made it make it one of the most disliked videos on on YouTube. Something happens. I'm pretty sure they'll probably that should put be me crazy somewhere. They'll probably be like, "Yo, this is the most disliked video for a reason. Let's put them up." Yeah, that would be hilarious. Front. I'm about to look that up now. Most disliked video on YouTube, bro. That's probably stupid, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably stupid. Also, I don't know. Yo, but talk yeah. to me about skateboarding, yo. Like skateboarding. Yeah, yeah. How'd you get into that shit, man? Just you know, because because I'm right now, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm into this mountain bike and shit. I ordered up. I have a dope ass mountain bike. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna show you something before y'all niggas leave too. Mm. I got a dope ass mountain bike. I ordered. A bunch of parts. My bike I, is pretty much the the only thing that's gonna stay the same. It's pretty much the the frame and the handlebars because they came with some fire ass nice nice wide hand mountain bike handlebars. But besides that, everything's gonna be changed and shit. So I'm into that right Word. now, and that's what I'm gonna be fucking with. And I just had my neighbor 
make me a manual uh um trainer which is what's uh, that? what you put what what's that a manual trainer or oh, where you can like pedal in place you can't pedal on it you put your wheel in it and you fuck it you just fuck it oh i seen that shit i seen you posted that shit you balance yourself so it helps mm, you, you do like a wheelie and shit oh that's tough pretty much learn how to how to how to balance yourself but then you got to get out there and go live with it or right. at least you know i can i can you know, get the balance of it because for some reason or another, my wheelie game is trash. I could just do like four car lengths the mm -hmm. most, and after that, I'm not. I really just can't keep going, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? I looked it up, and I'm gonna. I was like, oh, manuals are dope too. Manuals are a different. It's different yeah, than wheelies. Harder because you can't pedal. You got a straight balance. Yeah, pressure. exactly. So I'm gonna fuck. So imagine me. No, once I learn how to do that, wheeling is gonna be nothing to me. Or you know yeah. what I used to do? I used to do the BMX racing and shit. I grew up on that shit. No cap. My uncle built me my bike and everything. Oh, shit. That's ill. For real, bro. So, uh, how was that? Talk bro, to me about that. I done broke bones doing that shit. I done broke my, my rib, my shoulder. It's, man, done want some racing. My nigga, oh, yeah, because you, you, you jumping them doubles. Yeah, bro. I missed the, I was in midair, and I'm, and like, this is when I first started Tyson. I was in midair, and I missed, like, the part where you're supposed to land into. I landed flat, so I just died. <laughs> I just died. I can't even explain it. I you turned off like a fucking bro. I couldn't move. I couldn't breathe. My lung, my rib punctured my lung that day, bro. Jesus, man, bro. I was next day. I was still smoking a black in my mouth. It was freaking crazy. You were smoking a black in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, <laughs> like that Yo, you're a wild bro. nigga, dog. Yo, bro, I stay in the crib, though. I'm nice and comfy right there. I went up in the street. <laughs> so, um. Talk to me about that biking shit, man, because I'm really, really into it right now. Do you, like, do you remember anything? Of, can, you, can you still really, like, hit a double and maybe hit a tabletop or something? I can hit a tabletop. I can't hit no damn double. A double is OD. That's the pro shit, bro. I'm am. <laughs> I'm am. I'm fast as fuck, though. If I knew how to do that double shit, I would really be a problem, but I can't match my speed. doesn't match my skill, my ability to jump the ramps and shit type shit, like, Oh, that's right, it. It's right. technical as hell, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because you got to be able to. All right, so if there's some other thing, you got to be able to be like, all right, I'm going to ride this one and then I'm going to jump this double and then, mm. and then I can jump. That's exactly. there's a science. To, and if you fuck up, you landed flat and you're nigga, dying. And like, <laughs> you're dying. No, like, money gets bad. The, the falls, the, 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 right, the risks way out, way, way out weigh the reward. Because when you hit the fucking, you, you, you didn't get fucked up. Yes. Yeah, what, Sursky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's dope that you were fast and you did that shit, man. I, oh, yeah. I ain't never. You know what? I grew up. I grew up Jehovah's Witness and shit. My my mom was Jehovah's Witness. My father wasn't. So you know the moms is the ones that take care of you. So I would want to play sports and I couldn't play sports when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But I was an athletic kid and it was like, hey mm -hmm. man, throw me into some sports, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking wild out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Nah, it's fine. She wanted me to go to church, but I never stated it. So it is what it is. So, mom, I love you. I fucking love you anyway, mom. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel that uh, I definitely wouldn't have taken us anywhere anyway. So it doesn't really matter. It just would have been something fun to to have joined some organized Get some sports. life points from it. Huh? Some life points from it, I guess. <laughs> some life experiences. Yeah, yes. But you, you got know, it from other places. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I mean, I got my experiences from other things, but I, when it comes to like the camaraderie of a team, I never, I never had that. That's why um, I have a podcast. I can talk to people now because I didn't play sports growing up. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Nah, I'm just kidding. Like, imagine, like, yo, I'm just, this is all I was waiting for. <laughs> man, God knows how long this podcast is going to go, man. We, well, you know what? I'm trying to do it for a very long time. Facts, bro. But life happens, man. You know, sometimes, you know, like at one point I'm gonna start a business. This business that I'm I'm working on, I might not even have time. So I'm probably gonna wind up doing this shit like once a month. But you know what? It is it is it is what it is. I probably just have like once a month and then just have like super exclusive people like fucking mm -hmm. King Vaughn in them. You know right. what I'm saying? Well, not King. Well, people like, whoa, rest in peace, King Von, man. I didn't rest mean it like that. I meant to like, you know. Yeah, all right, no, all right. Like, no. like rappers of that are pop. I don't know, man. The, the, this is going to go up, though, because it's going, Facts. it's on the way up, let, to be honest. Most definitely. It's lit. I, I just, I just don't, don't want people to this. And you're evil. You're, you're a bad of you. You showed up and you came through. And you came from a fucking distance. <laughs> <laughs> yo, we Nigga. make those trips, man, because we don't break promises around here. Bro. Yo, seriously, cap, man. Bro.
I don't think I promised, but I kept my word. No, 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 I, well, I, I don't ever, I don't ever be like, yo, man, you pinky promise you can show up, nigga. Like, send me a, pink, a picture of your pinky. Yo, you would have been bummed. A picture of your pinky, doing, pinky like, this nigga You better a pinky promise. You're coming to the podcast. No, no, nah, bro. You was chilling, son, bro. It was none of that, bro. I was like, oh, bro, I'm on my way. He was like, word, say that. Copy, copy. Yeah, I just don't want to be sitting down here. Because sometimes I'll be sitting down here waiting for y'all niggas and shit. I be sitting out here waiting and shit and with the lights on, camera on and shit when I could just be upstairs chilling with my fucking family. That's what I was thinking about. You know what what you're like, or, Yo, or, bro, or I ain't trying to get else. So at the end of the day, mm-hmm. just when, you know, when you're going to show up, just tell me, if you're going to be late, be like, yo, my nigga, I'm going to be crazy late, nigga. I'll be, <laughs> two, I'll be two hours late. <laughs> that traffic cool. crazy, but I see some crazy spots. <laughs> I ain't even going to talk too much. Oh, you, but you but, really, yeah. you, but this nigga said on the way back down is work time. Facts. It's oh, not definitely. coming out right now, so it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't really matter. You can say whatever. You can even give them the address right now, specifically, specifically <laughs> as to where you're going, and they're not gonna find out until until it's on there already. So you might get buffed, <laughs> but at the end, of, give them the coordinates. <laughs> Yo, I ain't touching nothing, respectively. Okay. <laughs> Ebro's retired. Mm-mm. Not around. I mean, around here, yeah. <laughs> out of respect of the whiskey, no chasing. Yes, absolutely, man. Yo, man, let me know, man. Anything else you want to let the people know? Talk about it, man. Uh, I got to think for like two seconds. Yo, nigga, think. Um, this is this is it's not a big deal. Everything is super chill. I can say anything in between your thoughts. I can be over here talking about how cool your polo hat is. <laughs> you feel me? And you got the furry yeah. top, fucking jean jacket. Gotcha. Y'all niggas came through fresh to fucking death. Gotcha. And I one day will aspire to grow to be like you, gentlemen. Now I'm you got grow, my head, I'm, guys. I'm balding the motherfucker. I'm balding the motherfucker. <laughs> but yo, I promise you, I wouldn't. I, I don't think I would have have uh, have locks, but I definitely have loose braids if I was if I had hair. Because mm. I had braids when I was when I had hair. I had braids, but I had cornrows. But by now, I probably would have graduated to loose braids because you know it just would have felt more cool to have. Word. But now I'm bald, and I'm just here like, fuck it. <laughs> my beard is awesome, and a lot of people can't grow up it so. <laughs> Don't no, laugh at my ball, hey, motherfucker. <laughs> That's not a beard. What you rocking over there, boy? <laughs> nice hair. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, I don't even know, man. But so, I'm yeah, guys, some last words, I would say fucking, I would fucking, I'm the king of one and nine. What? Oh, did you, what did you say, sir? I don't want to name too much location, but if you know, you know. On one and nine, or where and who and everywhere. <laughs> I mean, but anyway, fuck all that. I'm the king of one and nine. I'll talk my shit. Shout out to C Mac. Shout out to Cody. Shout out to Asker. Yeah. Respectively. Them niggas is fucking killing. Most definitely. Respect to them young niggas, man. Cause you know what? I, I've also had freaking people say, you know, why are you talking to these new niggas? I'm like, but yo, the graph game is big, my nigga. It's fucking, it has a lot of parts to it. You know what I'm saying? Why not talk to the up and coming too? I get technical. No you know, you're coming from all different types of jersey, coming there from everywhere. Yeah, no yeah. Cap. I got a couple of seeds from where I'm from. I see y'all if y'all ever see this video. Keep bombing. Get your style up. Hang real quick. Better be careful though. <laughs> 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 no uh, cat. Back to that guy. I don't want to say too much. Anybody got beef with that you want to tell them right now that you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, man, uh, meet up for the fade. Like, after the show, we can set it up. We're filming for the show right now. Meet up right now. I don't ask for nah, I'm plenty just kidding. of fades. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm I don't ask for that. plenty of fades, and plenty of fades got denied. Oh, oh, fade, fade denial. Plenty of fade denial <laughs> in this graph shit. Fade denial. It's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I get hit up randomly. Hey, that's a, that, hey, man, hashtag fade denial, nigga. Do not, yo, that's my fucking hashtag. I just came up with that. Yo, hey, man, I think y'all niggas need to start paying me for the shit that I be saying sometimes, man. Yo. People need to start watching this. This show should have, should be having a million, a million views uh, episode, my nigga, because I be saying shit, bro. And I be having dope ass guests. Look at this nigga right here. You stupid? Bad. You stupid? You feel me, man? Fuck 6 9 Oh, oh, no, 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 we definitely not doing no 6 9 shit. I don't even listen to that guy's music. And you know what? I have nothing to do with none of that because I'm a civilian. I'm in no gang. I'm in no, I'm none of that. But I just do understand that there's a code as a man. When we doing something, we shut the fuck up about it. Most definitely. You talk to me about something, guess what? It stays right here. I promise. Yes, sir. 
but I don't want to hear your shit, man. So don't DM me with all your shit, because people be having feelings. And, and I, I learned already. Hey, man, I've already learned. Trust me. I'm going to just say one story real quick, because this is what it is, man. Say that. I had fucking, uh, I've spoken to, to, I've been nice to people. And I've had people that, you know, they, they, they confide in me and they talk to me. I don't fucking, I'll never bring, bring their stories up or tell nobody this shit. You know what I'm saying? But out of nowhere, they start flipping out on you because you're not around to listen to their shit. Nigga, like you, like, like I'm supposed to be here for you, nigga. We're not friend friends. I just was nice to you and I fucking listened to you for a little bit, bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, bro. <laughs> you know, I, I can't be therapizing you, bro. Is. You're not even paying me. It's more like, hey, man, if you, it, I, and, and I don't want to see nobody be mad or hurt and, and shit like that. So if you're talking to me about something, I'll be like, yo, I, I'll, set, I'll empathize with you. But damn, man, I got other things to do than to listen to other people's problems. And plus, you know what? Protect your energy, gods. Protect well, your energies. Because you know what? People, Love to fucking come bring your pro their problems to you, and you 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 are home thinking about their problems, stressed about their problem. They're over there partying, laughing, and smiling, and shit. So make sure that people have your permission to give you their problems, because at the end of the day, you're gonna be thinking about that shit later, and it fucks with your energy, man. If you let it, if you let if it, you if you let it, I mean, sometimes you might let it, it slip off you. Yeah, facts. But you know That's what? what you gotta do. Sometimes you don't. Yeah. And, and at night you're about to you, you know your last thoughts might be like bam damn man Timothy's fucking <laughs> leg hurts he's been bitching about it I don't know what the fuck I, not even <laughs> like uh, or Timothy's daughter's getting banged by fucking Rashawn from fucking <laughs> from <laughs> class 209 and damn. he's upset about it hey man mind your business about your kid's sex life damn. Boy, boy, <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> shout out Timothy <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't even know. Hey, man, this has been a trippy fucking episode. I've enjoyed it. Most definitely, yo. Till last time. Mm -hmm. Any shout outs before you want to go? Shout out Gus again. And then um, shout out my nigga Soul. Shout out my nigga A Walk. Whole lot of wick shit. <laughs> Whole lot of wick shit. Whole lot of low life shit. Shout out to the AYAC niggas. All them polo wearing ass niggas. Are you I get a low like lifer? Not yet. <laughs> I'm getting my shit up though. No cap, slowly, most definitely though. And 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 uh, how how can I be a low life? Still low, buy low, trade low. Damn, that's fly as hell. I was just kidding. I'm not gonna be that. But at <laughs> the end of the day, I th I think that you know I didn't understand it before what they, what they were, and I was like, oh, what is this? But now I'm like, I'm like, I right, I fuck with it because these niggas are sharing and and everybody's just like, yo, I got I got an extra fly of this. I love that. That is dope. Facts. Yeah. Everybody's allowing each other to stay fly. Hell You're not yeah. being selfish. Never. You're not hoarding two two of the same bear t-shirts. You fucking got an extra bear one. You're gonna fucking give it to fucking homie homie John over there down in Queens because he needs it. That's how I go. And he's gonna give you some socks. Be a shorty that are gonna be nice, and you're gonna hit it from the back, and you're gonna be like, "Yo, thanks, John." That new low come crazy. I don't even though. understand the that new. Low. You gotta go to Jimmy Jazz. Matter of fact, I'm, damn, I'm mad I said that. Don't go to Jimmy Jazz. <laughs> wow. I need all the low from Jimmy Jazz. You see the sweat? They had like the butter pecan sweatpants with the low with the little horsey on the side. I go crazy for that shit. Bro. I love low. That shit. I be painting in my shit. <laughs> Get the painting on that shit. I'll be getting mad as hell. Like, fuck, I got paint on my low. You know what, though? Yo, you probably buy a lot, though, right? You, like, Bro, you most keep buying. Definitely, most so definitely. Most definitely. about to be day, crazy. Fuck a nigga painting your shit because you're going to keep buying. And at the end of the day, you but know nah, you don't be do that. Fresh anyway. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't paint in your low. If you can't go out bummy, look like, yo, you know what I've done? Nah, they can paint fresh, but they can go do it. Yeah, facts. Facts. Don't be a pussy. Paint fresh. <laughs> I done did both, bro. I done paid it <laughs> bummy, kidding, and I done paid it fresh, me, bro. Yeah. Now, I don't know shit either, bro, but I done paid it bummy before. You know what I did, bro? I be <laughs> blending in. My nigga, I wear Wait. American Eagle and Levi's. Oh, I can wear what I don't give a fuck, and I be looking fresh to death. I be looking just as fly as anybody in the room. I'm, I'm, wearing, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing cheap ass shit, and at the end of the day, guess what? Who gives a fuck what the fuck you're wearing, nigga? Who the fuck are you? Honestly, Who are you, nigga? For inside real. you, boy? Who are you? Exactly. Nigga, you're not an outfit. <laughs> I've seen niggas wearing tough ass outfits get knocked the fuck out <laughs> by white boys. Hey, yo, shout out to my nigga Nick. He's in the team. He's on the team, the thug herder. 
And he's like, yo, I feel like I'm fighting. I remember he told me, I feel like I'm beating up outfits. <laughs> yo, shout out yeah. to Nick. He's going to come on the show one day, yo. He's a wild dude, yo. I love that nigga. My best friend. One of my best friends, you know what I'm saying? And and I'm 38, yeah. That's my, you know, you be, people be like, oh, you have a best friend? So yeah, nigga, my, my best friend, nigga. You know why? Because at the end of the day, if I fucking have a business transaction that needs to be done, you know what? You talk to your friends and you make fucking business together. I have that. What are your friends doing for you? Asking you to come fight for them? Not your friend, my nigga. Friend's supposed to be like, yo, there's a business opportunity. Let's go get that money together, boy. Think about that. Damn, man, did I drop gems on this a little bit? Hey, yo, man, cash at me. Whiskey, no chaser, man. The money sign, whiskey, no chaser, man. Cash at just because. Just because niggas are going to be sending 50 cents. You know what? That shit adds up. I did get that once. You <laughs> did? Yeah. That's lit. Just once. But you know what? That was dope. That was dope. As I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. Yo, I, I feel like I, I've just been ranting and talking shit. And that's what's going to be said in the comments below. Comment below. <laughs> Yo, shout out, bro. I'm sitting over here saucing off of... Yeah, I know, because I see that you're just, you know, you're just lit and chilling yourself. And I ain't mad at you, sir. I'm having a good time just just talking and and, uh, and blabbering at the mouth. And you know what? I feel that at one point, I think I'm going to do another... I haven't done a solo podcast in a very long time. Yo, I used to fuck with the solo podcast. No cap. No cap, bro. I (laughs) I really did. Nobody really gave a fuck, so I stopped doing them. I watched that shit, bro. So I'm going to start doing them again a little bit. All right. Because I be down here sometimes by myself smoking. I'm like, yeah, damn, I, I want to want to talk about something. Cause I be, uh, I talk to myself anyway. So at the end of the day, might as well tell y'all tell y'all what I'm talking about. Exactly. <laughs> and shit. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do. Uh, there's gonna be another solo podcast coming soon. I felt it, that. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up, yo, Ibra, man. You're a great dude. You are uh, a gentleman. You are a scholar, and you are the type of person that um, I'm glad to have met because you got good energy. I try, man. Most definitely. Ed, you're not a pussy. That's a that's that's the thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People with good Never energy. Doubt. People people always wanna wanna take advantage of people with good energy and be like, you know what I'm saying? On some like, oh niggas is pussy or whatever it is. And Shane, comment below if you think that Ebro's a pussy or not. No, I'm just gonna <laughs> <laughs> I like think- that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he's so petty, nigga. <laughs> What's up, my nigga? <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna be like, yo, where this nigga at, yo? I'm gonna find this nigga's account. Yo, imagine. Email address. Imagine, I'll be top five. I'll be sitting in my room laughing, smoking some big note. <laughs> no, God. You think he's gonna be bringing in groceries for his mom? He's gonna pull up. Yo, I'm Ebro, nigga. You remember me? <laughs> I'm a pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna smack that nigga with the milk. <laughs> you need some milk. <laughs> smack that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, he needed some milk, bitch. You want some too? Yeah, nigga, not the bro. mom, dog. No, Ibra, no, it's not the mom, dog. Leave the mom alone, bro. She have nothing to do with that shit. Nigga, bro. she brought him to this world. <laughs> bro. She took this situation that's happening. That's a- <laughs> Smack that nigga with milk. No, I'll st- <laughs> yeah. be crazy. I'll be the distraction. I'm coming crazy. <laughs> yep. Yo, no, God. <laughs> That's gonna be stupid. <laughs> just like if, <laughs> just like <Bruh>. if somebody's, <laughs> if somebody's too big for you, <laughs> take off your hat, throw it up, and just snuff them. He's gonna look at that hat. Ah! He's gonna be lost as hell. He's oh my gonna god! Look at that. Like, Yo, nigga, you serious, though? <laughs> if I see my man do some shit like that, I start crying. Like, what the fuck, my nigga? Yo, he's this too nigga big. Just, this is crazy <laughs> shit to get the family. Like, <laughs> that wasn't even Throw fair that at that point. Up. He's gonna look up. That shit ready for some action. See ya. No Yo. god, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> That's what, I don't know. Yo, don't do that, man. That's some coward ass shit, man. Uh, shoot the fit. But if he is too big, my nigga, he really wants smoke, my nigga. You gotta, you gotta handle your business how you gotta handle it, man. No cap. Because to be honest, we gotta survive out here. You know what I'm saying? We gotta survive. I'm gonna join Krav Maga. What is that called? Them niggas, them niggas, the, the Russian dudes that they only know how to dismantle you, my nigga. They, they don't know how to fight. They're not here to fight, my nigga. What you the fight fuck? with one of them niggas. You're gonna get you gonna grab you? Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh my god. You do not want to win this. Because those dudes are the type of dudes that are um 
Them niggas be like, they just pop, 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 pop. And everything is just strategic. It's hitting you every inch. You're going to get punched in the neck, in the middle, because they're going to hit you. They're going to be like, they're going to hit you in the chin. Ha! And they're almost coming to the neck. Ha! And by that time, you're done. You're, yeah. And they're going to give you like four more punches. And it's all going to be like in the ribs, straight for the lungs. You're going to crack ribs. They're just, they don't, they don't, they only train to dismantle. Nothing else. It's not, we're not here to fight the fade, nigga. I'm here to hurt you so I could go and keep on with my mission. That that type of skill is crazy. Damn. That yeah. shit stupid. I'll be mad as hell if I came across a nigga like that. I'll still put in my work, but damn. Nigga, you'll try, but my nigga, he's going to dismantle you, sir. What? It's just that How he's big is this nigga? Like, is no, they it's all not about like big. this? They it's all about, like this? They just built like this? The nigga, it's, not big. it's not big. It's about training. He training. could be this short. What type of training is this? Where do you get this from? Oh. Where do you get this training from? <laughs> Russia might be other. Russia, you, you got, just gotta you got be got born in Russia, and you be like, "All right, we gotta train you now." And they all nah, like, that. you know what? Though this place is here. That, that, yeah, this place is. You could look it up. I don't know. Nah, but, I believe you on that. though. No, no, no. But that is because you know what, man. People, let me tell you something, guy. In fucking the the world right now where we live, um, honestly, if we was to have a real, um, let's say, civil race war. I don't know, man, what's going to happen, though. We don't have oh, the guns. Right, we don't have anything. We don't have it, anything. The white people, their kids are all, guess what? Before, when we were growing up, before, there was no wrestling in, in my high school. I know they have it now in, 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 in all the schools, but wrestling, um, they didn't have that. White boys always had wrestling. Ain't no wrestling at that point. <laughs> Ain't no wrestling. No, 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 I'm saying though, but I'm just talking about how, how, how strategically um, nice America thing would probably be has right? trained or has has set themselves they up do be on to, some be Call of Duty shit. to make sure that they have the advantage when it comes to a lot of things. They be going to the hunting and shit, so they already know how to use guns type yes. shit. Yes, yes. Do you see that? Yeah. I was going there next. Where? You see that? Mm -hmm. You see? We don't have that. What, what's the who, who, who do you know in the hood that you grew up that hunts? How many people? You might have one or two. How many people do you know? They have 50, maybe 80 people that hunt. Actually, all of them hunt. Most of them. Do you hunt? Have you hunted? Do you know anybody that hunts? Any of your homies? Do you guys hunt? Have you hunted before, homie? You, you hunt? No. No, no, no. None of us hunt. None mm. of us hunt. So at the end of the day, man, look at how we set up to be. And they said that they didn't set us up. You know what I mean? I don't even know how I got, got here, but I, I'm just saying, like, like, this is why we, as a people, we got to change. You know, I'm Dominican. I speak Spanish, but I'm black, too, nigga. Look at my skin. We're the same people. That's that nigga. <laughs> what? That's that nigga. You Dominican too? Oh, que lo que, que lo que, de lo mío. Yeah. Hey, shit. Yeah, yeah, nigga. But at the end of the day, B, <laughs> you know, we black too, motherfucker. Black. You know what I mean? Say that again? Yeah. Yeah, nigga. So, you know, and unfortunately, let me fuck, you know, I haven't even spoke about this, yo, and I was going to talk about it in a solo podcast, but I'm talking about it right now. Us as Dominicans, we were taught to hate our fucking color, nigga. It's, it's in our fucking culture that we were taught to not like our own color, unfortunately. Ese negro. There was ese negro. You know what I'm saying? Me growing up, a negro. And I love to be called a negro. I love that color. I love when my wife calls me negro. I love that shit because that's who I am. I love that color. And on top of that, my, my mom calls my father negro too. So my wife calling me negro. It's just, it's like, it's just like, yo, I'm the man in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the, the man in the motherfucker that I came from. You know what I'm saying? The castle I came from, you know, which was, you know, was with my parents. The man in that motherfucker was called Negro. My mom calls him Negro. My wife calls me Negro sometimes. And she just, I didn't tell her to call me that. It just, she does it. You know, and I like that shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But I always love, I, like, no, no, hold on. Let me not say I always love my color. I, I, I didn't always love my color. I liked my color. And I knew who I was, and I'm like, I'm cool with it. But I never loved my, I love my color. If I come back, I need this color. I don't want to be white, man. I would never like that color, ever, ever. I, and shit, my wife is light-skinned and shit, but at the end of the day, and I, and I have no problems with, with, I'm not racist, but I'm just saying, this is the color for me, man, and shit. But as Dominicans, we were, grow, we were brought up to not love this color. We were brought up, and it was something that was put into the history by Trujillo in his time. As much as people love, Trujillo, 
and his regime, they 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 um I, I saw something the other day that that taught taught this history. They they were taught to really treat black people bad over there in Dominican Republic. Not just Haitians, black people, us over there as Dominican. Now, if you were Dominican, you were treated good, but you weren't treated equal, but you were treated good. You weren't treated as a Haitian and shit. Now, I also heard another thing I also heard. I don't know if this is true or not, or is that when it comes to Haitians and Dominicans, the beef with them was that Haitians actually had uh, Dominicans enslaved back in the days. I thought it was the opposite. And I, I heard, what I heard it now is that Haitians had Dominicans enslaved. And shit, I didn't know that. My own history, you know what I'm saying? I was yeah. born here, so unfortunately, I, I didn't. But my uncle put me onto that maybe like two summers ago. And yeah. shit, and I'm like, wow, yo, that's crazy, yo. That's crazy. Yeah, the, and shit. And then once the Dominicans took over the island, they, you know, they just they, they went where they were. But don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Dominicans, uh, uh, when when that shit happened in uh, St. Paul or whatever it's called again, Dominicans were the ones that were there. Not America, not fucking France, not everybody else. Dominican Republic was there <clears throat> giving Haiti refuge. They were giving Haiti refuge at that time. When them niggas was all fucked up, they gave them refuge. So, so they're not that much enemies, to be honest. They treated them neighborly. You know what I mean? I really feel that everybody has love for each other now. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to and on top of that, man, Haitian women are beautiful. Why, why wouldn't you like Haiti? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if we're gonna be real, I, I mean, you know, if we're gonna go to let's let, if we're gonna have anything in common, let's 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 have in common how beautiful the women are in each other's countries, man. Mm. Let's mix it up. <laughs> right. and shit um, I don't know where I was going and why I came here but uh, oh just a little bit of, uh, of about about oh yeah I was just talking about how how us as black as black people uh, um, in different countries we don't unite and we don't um, um, you know be with each other like like you know like we're the same type of motherfucking people we just happen to have been born in different places right. and shit we just and we also we do have different um Different histories, different stories, different slave ships, different uh, victories, different, you know what I'm saying? We all do, because we all from different parts of the of, of the of the world. Yeah. But we're all still damn motherfucking black in a different place. For yeah. just from a different place. That's all it is. And shit. So um, you know, I I hate that I I I felt I feel like this as a as as an older man, and I didn't feel like this when I was younger. And I'm just putting it out there. That's what it is, man. We was brought up that way. And it's a whack way, and I'm I'm stopping it. <clears throat> My generation is stopping it. We're not doing that no more. And shit, cause uh, you know, you know what it is already. Hey, yo, Ebro. Yo. You good, nigga? I I'm just chilling. fucking went on the ramp, nigga. I'm chilling. You good? Most definitely. Yeah, man. Um, did I bore you? Never. I was interested. Listening. All right, I appreciate that, man. I really appreciate you as a person. All right. You're a good dude. I really hope that you do a lot of good things in your life. A lot of it. Right. I see that you're gonna bring a lot of good energy everywhere you go anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I just want you to get get old and have 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 really killed the world on some Ebro shit. Do you feel that you're gonna do something artistic? Like I'm talking about some like art gallery type shit, or you just wanna bomb the world, man. It's okay. You just wanna bomb it up, bro. What do you wanna do? This shit. Mad personal. I'll be thinking about making money in this shit and I don't like it off rip but if I make money in it it won't be I won't be mad but it's gonna be a thought process if, if I really want to do it cause this shit is really for the streets I don't like you know but shit bring the bag this way <laughs> you feel me but nah it ain't for that though there's a lot but. of dudes selling stickers that haven't been out for a long time but they sell the stickers and they making money yo that's it crazy MQ stickers them sis you be putting them sis out like crazy yeah, I'm like, you know, it's funny because people come through and give me stickers and shit. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'll leave them here. And it's cool because other people will take them. So you probably got cool. some gems. Nah, like, I mean, well, yeah, you know what? I've had, and like some people, I just go and put them up because mm -hmm. I fuck with them. But then there's other ones that I'm like, they give me too many. I'm like, yeah, man, I put a couple up. But damn, <laughs> nigga, like, am I, I going to be your tag now? Like, I, should I bust a throw it for you? Yeah. No, nigga. <laughs> and shit, like, That's funny as well. Yeah, like, you give me f four or five, I'm definitely going to put them up for you. No problem. But damn, nigga. Like, I don't even put my own shit up. <laughs> you didn't even write Whiskey No Chaser on it. <laughs> Where I felt that, though. You even try to get me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, but, but, um. But now nah, th there's definitely people that have come through that I'm like, oh, that's dope that they gave me some stickers and I put them up. And then after that, just leave them around and 
people take them. They're like, yo, and I'm like, yeah, man, take, take it out. You know, it's it's love. Where at the end of the day, man. But yeah, so you don't want to do, you don't want to draw no characters. You don't, you not want to get, on, you don't want to get on some call shit. I you know low key been on my b boy character shit, but I ain't. Do you break dance? Oh, hold on. Ah. <laughs> pop before you want to pop. Get drunk, nigga. Yeah. Play with me, man. Hey man, hey yo! Shout out to B boy, you're cute man. I'm a nigga. That's my nigga, man. He's the the the, the last B boy standing. And Marky, and Marky, Mark, stay stay B boy. He's very old, and he still can fucking bust the window. God bless that that young uh that young lad. Let's go with that. But your homies, man. So talk to me, man. Wait, you you got anything else before we 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 walk about this motherfucker? I'm done. You're done. You're Bye. done now. <laughs> nah. Bye. Hey yo, um, it was a pleasure again. Back. Great dude. Great podcast. Great homies you came with. This whiskey no taste, nigga. See ya. Chop, 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 This episode was produced by Appaloosa Media. You can find us at appaloosamedia.com.